All right, well, Easter is right around the corner. And when you think of Easter, many Western New Yorkers think of the infamous butter lamb. But the question is, do you know the history behind Buffalo's traditional butter sculpture? Joining us now to tell us about this Easter symbol is Mark Goodwin of Buffalo Eats. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, pleasure to be here. I, I'm trying to convince you to, like, stay in Buffalo and, you know, <laughs> oh, get, know all the Buffalo traditions so you're, you'll be a pro in no time. I like it. I like it. So <laughs> I know you came with all the research. You have yep. the gear on and everything. Of course. What can you tell us? Um, so it dates back to the 1200s originally, but the Buffalo connection is um, Dorothy Malachewski, a.k.a. her nickname was Ma. Um, she really popularized it in the 60s, and her butter lamb mold actually came from her dad and from Poland. So it's like, it really originates from like Eastern European traditions. Um, so, but then she came out with it in the 60s and it just blew up at the Broadway market. Um, I don't know if you've been to the Broadway market, really, really cool place. It's, it's on my list. Dave <laughs> Graber has been telling me yes. nonstop to, to get my, to, to make, a, make it a point to stop there. Yeah, no, it's so, awesome. So um, I actually have an embarrassing story to share. I actually, <laughs> when you said you were coming on, you were bringing a butter lamb. Again, I'm not from this area, so I'm not familiar with this tradition, and I thought you were picking bringing in lambs, like like a, like a buttered lamb chop. No. And my, my whole cubicle just started laughing at me. They're like, nope, it is in fact butter. So unless you're brave enough to make one yourself, where yes. can people find one? Yeah, I know you mentioned it, the Broadway Market. Yeah, Broadway Market, um, I just got mine at Wegmans actually. I tried making my own as a mold, but it turned out more like a butter rock. It really wasn't, didn't have much of a lamb shape to it. But yeah, Wegmans, most grocery stores, Broadway Market, really cool place. They have a bunch of new restaurants and stuff there. And like, there's always polka, bands and people dancing and it's really fun. Awesome. So now also when you think of Easter, you know, you think of Easter brunches and I know you want to talk about the Black Sheep. Yes. Which is unfortunately closing its doors. Yes. So I wanted to, they announced that this week they're closing. Their last uh, meal will be on brunch on Easter. We we love their sticky toffee pudding. People have been begging them for the recipe and they refuse to give it out. So if you can get there next week and the next week um, get a reservation, you only have one more chance to do it. So really, really worth it. Really great food and great people. All right, absolutely. And we'll wrap with this, Mark. You know, this was the first full week of April. Spring mm -hmm. is in uh, full swing over here. So yep. when you think of spring, you know, you think of new menus, new seasonal dishes. Yes. And I know there are two you want to tell us about. So let's wrap with that. Absolutely. Uh, first one, Public Espresso. Uh, great coffee shop, great baked goods, but they're opening a dinner menu, which is new. And they had a, a review night last night, and it, everything looked amazing. So go there. And then number two, Remedy House. They came out with their new lavend lavender vanilla latte. I tried it this week on ice. It was amazing. I've never had anything like it. And then they also have a brisket and ancho chili aioli egg on a roll. Just really, really good stuff. I saw the picture you guys <laughs> tweeted of that, mm -hmm. of that egg sandwich, and I <laughs> literally, I think I started salivating. It looks incredible, so I definitely have to make my I'll way over Bring them there. next time. <laughs> All right, we're Mark Goodwin of Buffalo Eats. It is always a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us tonight. Thanks for having me. It's always a blast.